Hi and welcome back. I'm Michelle Martin and with me here today is Matt Davey, the sole candidate for next year's position of um, education and placement. Um, so Matt, this with the incorporation, this role has only been um, here one year. So tell me a bit what your understanding of the position is and the job. Well, just education and placement. So education. So just to make the experience of getting grades and all that as best as I can as education and placement officer and then placement just so not only you can help the students that are struggling on placement, but the students who are maybe getting a 2-2, two -two, boost that up to a 2-1 or 2-2 two -two up to 2-1 or 2-1 two up to 1-1. Uh, one -one. So no, just really to help everyone out so that not just in the case of welfare that it's improved, but that their grades improve too. So just to make their placement as best as possible. Mm, That's okay. why I want to run. And a lot of Manus's work this year anyway was kind of behind the scenes. So how would you make yourself aware to students and to show that you're actually doing your job and you're doing stuff and changes are happening next year? I need to be seen on all campuses at least one day during the week. Um, similar to what Sean Kerr's was saying in an office, maybe on the All Hallows campus, and be up here at least one day a week. Um, just get out, meet people, walk around, and you know make yourself approachable so that they can come to you as well as just emailing you. You know, come up mm -hmm. to you and have a conversation with you. You know, you're a human being, not just a computer worker. So, easy, simple stuff like that. Yeah. You seem like a chill guy, so before we talk about your manifesto, I'll just mention as well, obviously you can see in your t-shirt, um, what's the crack we're running with your friend? Your Facebook page is the same name. Um, just like we know each other from the first week in college, we are probably, there was three of us originally, but the other fellow isn't running for anything, so that me and Sean decided to run together. I know it's not usually done up here in DCU, but back in Pats, especially when we were in first year, usually when there was a president and vice president going together, they would always team up mm. and they wouldn't always get in together but it's just good to have a partnership and you can kind of help each other out for the campaign and you kind of drive each other on. Obviously I'm not up against anyone but I'm still putting in 15, 16 hour days to help Sean get in. Yeah, yeah, and you don't think that um, it was a bit confusing for people at first to kind of see like who's going for what position, who's who? Uh, probably is but I think it's good for us in the long run because we just can help each other out and nearly have the work even though sometimes it does seem double the work. <laughs> yeah, and because you are running alone, if hypothetically you were running against someone, what would make you stand out? How do you think that you would win next year? Or win if you were against someone? Um, that's a very good question. I'd just like to be approachable, as you said, be chill, not take myself too seriously, and um, just really help people out. I just love helping people. You know, if you can help someone out, they'll really appreciate it. And it just makes yourself feel good in that. So that's what I really love, mm. just to help people. So then do you want to tell me about your manifesto, what you would do to help people, particularly um, with um, interim placement, because that would be the key, the key element to your position? Yeah, the main thing I really want to get is printing credit. It was something that was available to us in St. Pat's, and we had five euro put in our account every month. So like every month you mightn't have spent your five euro, but that built up to the times when you really did need it. Uh, myself and all the fourth year BEDs are out in placement in Dublin. I was in Drimna and uh, we spent an absolute fortune, you know yourself, printing worksheets uh, and resources to use in class. Mm. So I've spent probably about 100 euro in the last four weeks and I'll have to do that again when I'm out in Port Marnock starting next Monday. So um, that's really something I want to get in, not just for teachers, but for everyone on placement mm. who and needs printing credit. research into if there's funding available for that, if that's actually well, a possibility? We need to look at that in July when the budget for DCU is decided and if it can't be raised then we'll have to look into it with societies and run events to raise that money. Mm. So if it is for teachers, maybe teachers have their own event to help raise money or nurses or business students. Yeah, another thing you mentioned in your manifesto was a survey for people after INCHA. Um, there already exists a survey for people to evaluate their employers. So is that something that you knew already or were you hoping to take the survey in a different direction? I just really want to get the um, take up of the survey a lot better so that you incentivize it and so that people actually like put effort into the survey so that as an SU we really can identify what the problems are and then work with small groups so we can actually fix them. Mm. Um, what do you think about, not sure if you're aware, but last year in the science, um, the science faculty alone there was 18 people that couldn't um, get into for their placement and um, this year there's 36 so far whether that goes down or not we're not going to know. There's a lot of stigma, especially with the science students, with employers like not wanting to take um, students from DCU because of past reputation. So do you have any idea what you would do with dealing with um, overcoming that kind of stigma and not allowing with, with what am I trying to say? How would you deal with um, students that 
aren't it's not that they're bad students and they didn't manage to get a position but that the employers are not willing to take people from DCU or that there's not enough jobs out there for the amount of people that are in the course. I wasn't aware of that but we could certainly do a placement drive and as an SU really actively look for places for those students not just say you know sort it yourself you know but really as an SU attack it early on in the year so that when it does come to placement time that it is sorted for them. Mm. So would you be willing to work with companies to go directly with companies? Oh we'll have to so we have to sort for the students that's where students union we work for the students so mm. we'll have to mm. do that yeah. As long as with the intra office as well. Yes. Keep yeah. working closely with them. Yeah. And another thing you had in your manifesto was um, having a counsellor as well, a mobile counsellor. So yeah. did you intend for one person to go around campus or like tell me how about that? Um, that was particularly a problem with um, third year B eds. We have a 10 week placement at home mm. where we are there from September to Christmas in schools. And um, it is very stressful. You're very isolated. You're at home. Um, you're putting in probably 12 hour days at least between planning and teaching. And a lot of people felt isolated. Um, there was a survey done and I think 14% said that college services were adequate um, to support them, which is absolutely disgraceful. I think that was from the year before last. So I think that would really help uh, students who need a counsellor, like, because especially, I think there was a six week waiting list in the, on the St. Pat's campus for a counsellor uh, coming up to placement. So a mobile counsellor should relieve some of that. Mm. Okay, and then um, before we finish up, is there anything that you want to get out there? Is there anything that you want to say about yourself or the manifesto? I just think it's really important that everyone comes out and vote for every position. Just do even five, ten minutes research, look at manifestos, get out, uh, talk to Canis, ask them why they should elect you, and just really express your vote. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Thanks for talking to us today. Um, next up we have Sarah McLaughlin, who will be moderating the welfare debate.